Well, it's raining again. <laughs> Almost time to get up. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to get my spectacular sunrise shot. <laughs> it's pretty cloudy. Pulled the boat right up last night. Just to keep it away. Just in case it washes away, it is tied up as well, but... Stop off from getting buffeted around. A little bit more light and we'll get up. Just enough rain to wet every bit of firewood on the island. <laughs> Great. Look, there's a mosquito out there. Sucked in. You can't get in here. Doesn't seem to be getting any lighter. <laughs> Should soon. That cloud cover is peeling back this way. It's taking its sweet time. Whee. Okay. There we go. one let's see what you got for me come on please be something it's always disappointing when there's nothing in them and we have hey look at that we got a crab and as long as it's not a female please don't be a female let's just tip it up like that what do we got? We got a male. Sweet. All right. Well, we'll just pop you down here for a sec. Because you know what I realized I didn't bring? A bucket. <laughs> Which is a bit of a pain. Get that out of the way. As long as you don't start ripping up the, uh, the thing here, we should be all right. And we've got no bait left, so we can't really put the trap back out, so the pot back out. So we might, I might just collapse it on him and get him back to our uh, camp. But we'll go and check the other one first. Collapse this one down. And hopefully it'll stop him from uh, ripping up anything as well. <laughs> I've got a tiny bit of skin left. That crab is a gift. I'm very happy. I was a bit worried I wouldn't get anything. <laughs> All right, hopefully we get one more and we'll make a real meal out of this. All right, buddy, sorry for just collapsing it down on you, but this is the way it is. Sweet. You can stay there. Go and check number two. Then we'll get them out and check them out properly. Might as well turn the cameras on if we've got them. Beautiful. Is that camera on? Oh, what do you know it is? All right, pot two is just around here. Sweet crab breakfast. The second pot was on the outskirts here. Tried one in like sort of a bit of a drain area and then we'll try this one, which is just a bit more out in the open. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah. <sighs> 
stuck on a massive log here. There we go. What have we got? Ooh, that one looks pretty juicy. Small claws, but uh, big body. Let's have a look. Uh, but the other one's a female. So this second one's a female. Such a different shape. I guess we better get this uh, little brim out as well. Ah, that's a pity. That's a real pity. A <laughs> little brimbo. See you later, buddy. Uh, it's a bummer that uh, the, um, what's the name? The second one's a female. Because that would have been a sweet feed. I'm gonna get my guy. Little swimmer crab. She's looking a bit uh, shell shocked. See you later, bud. That bait's looking pretty shabby, but we could almost put that back out. All right, come on, I'll shake you down. There you go, ah, oh, all the way down the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, claws, come on. It's a pity you're stuck in here. Let's see if we can get camp. Ooh, finally. <laughs> well, she's a beautiful crab, but female, unfortunately, means we can't take her. But we've got a buddy, and we do have a little bit of bait, so I guess I might put that pot back out. But uh, yeah, bummer. Bummer, I really want to keep her. <laughs> but we can't. We've got to do the right thing. Such a good looking crab. All that green underneath. It's been a while since you've molted. All right, we'll let you go. It's a pity. See you later. That really is a pity. Yep, well, we got one, but uh, unfortunately only one because the second one, the bigger one, was a female. This guy's got some pretty decent claws on him, though, so we still get a feed out of him, but we'll put the other trap out again. It's got a little bit of bait. We'll put it maybe, I don't know, maybe just back over here, and we'll leave it out for a bit of the day. And hopefully we'll get a flatty, and we'll do a flat, flatty crab breakfast. And if not, may, and then if I get a flatty, then I can use like the guts and the actual, like I'll just fill it in and I'll use the rest as crab bait as well. So hopefully we can catch another fish and we can get back crabbing. If not, we'll call this a good breakfast regardless. So we've got the head, there's a little bit of meat and guts left on it, so hopefully it does the trick. It's not heaps. That should be alright. Oh man, look at that. I can see that rain sweeping across. It's gonna hit proper. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I wonder how long this will last. No flatties yet. Might just be a solo mud crab mission. Hopefully. We'll stick at it for a while. If we can't get a flatty, we'll go back and check our other pot. Geez, surely you'd think they could even get just at least a little flatty somewhere around here. <laughs> Look at this tiny little guy. You got no legs left, buddy. I'm just gonna let you go. Jeez, he's had a hard life. Look, he's got no legs. <laughs> go on, see you later. Threw the bait out. I went past, and there's really not much point in me keeping on going because that rain looks like it's gonna. We've got a little small break now, but it looks like it's gonna get worse. 
So I figure I might, uh, I might break camp today just simply because um, it's not quite as good a weather as we were hoping. There's always a bit of a risk or a bit dicey and it doesn't look like it's going to come good. Here, we'll switch this around. All right, but we're back at camp. Everything still seems to be there. <laughs> this is going to be the issue, whether I can start a fire. If I can get it going, I might go for a sort of a hunt around in there and maybe I can find some semi-dry wood. But uh, getting the fire going is going to be the issue. If I can get it going, I will cook the crab here. If not, I will have to sort out something else. And what we want to do is get uh, this guy out. And I actually have uh, some ice blocks and frozen waters in the esky. So I'll get him on the ice to chill him down a bit. And then we can dispatch him in a humane way. Or as humane as it gets. <laughs> Unfortunately, crabs get a pretty rough deal when they get ripped apart. He's been chilling that whole time. He's gonna come alive now, you watch. <laughs> we might just get it straight out to here. What I don't want is I don't want holes in the boat, so. Come on. No, 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 come over here. Don't you dare burst my boat. Come here. <laughs> Up here, please. Jeez, he's got some nippers on him, this guy. <laughs> Come on. Let it go. Let the rope go, too. Come on. Oh, you don't ruin my rope. Jeez, you wouldn't want that for your fingers, would you? Look at that. Nasty. Go on, let it go. Now we're looking better. Can't. You hold on to the stick if you like. But now we got you off the rope. Come in from this end, and we will be chilling you down. We'll take these bits out. Right, okay, leave him in there for a sec see if we get this fire going which is going to be a challenge All right. let's get it going we're going to cheat and use the uh, six pack carton <laughs> the wood is only lightly soaked in the outside if we can just get it going a bit we'll be all right just gotta get it going though that's the problem okay we've got it going down on that side let's just See if it keeps going. Come on. Come on, come on. It is going. It is going. As wet as the wood is, it is going. Come on, as soon as it just, we can just get ahead here, we'll be all right. <laughs> Gonna stop putting it on. I'm gonna use all the wood we got to dry it out as much as possible. Get some smaller stuff back on. Everything goes on this time, even the shark fin. <laughs> see you, buddy. You can start drying. I oh, see the underside of him is pretty dry. Get burning. Thank God for that. Sandfly is starting to swarm me as well. It's gonna stand in the smoke to get rid of them. The hotter we can get it, the easier this is gonna be. <laughs> Keep feeding it, lots of little ones as well. These little ones dry out quicker and get going a lot faster. Hey.
we're cooking. A little bit more wood, sort of semi dry in parts. But we have a proper fire going all of a sudden, so that's all right. Let's just keep stacking it on. I want serious flamage as much as I can get going, basically. So it's so super hot that I can't possibly not. <laughs> Can't possibly go out. No, the crab cook up is on. Only one crab, but it has some big claws, so I'll get a nice feed out of it. Make the trip worthwhile. Certainly won't be uh, upset about it. Crab is so good. Let's wait till all this turns into cold. It's looking good though. Thank God for fire. There were so many midges starting to come out as well and starting to get me. Now yeah, they're all scared off from the fire. All right, we'll use the top of this tub as a work area. This guy has been chilling in here for about oh, maybe 40 minutes now. I've let the uh, fire cook down and get lots of coals. But now I think I'll um, I just put some more wood on top just to sort of get it going again. But I think it might almost be time to check on that crab and see how uh, frisky he is. Hopefully he's chilled right down and he's pretty docile and almost out of it. I think I might uh, break him open and just do everything in the pan. So I'll cut all this stuff up first. Get away. Mosquitoes still hanging around even with the fire. Um, give that a quick wipe out. It's been a while since I've used the pan. We'll quickly cut up uh, some garlic, some chili and some butter. It's just going to keep it real simple, just butter, fry the crab off, get him cooked and just like a garlic butter sauce with a little bit of chilli as well. Simple but delicious, can't go wrong. How many cloves? Maybe four cloves of garlic let's call it. Oh that's a big one. That's about, should be enough. I've only got one small crab really, so <laughs> we don't need too much. So the chili. It's always hard cutting with the filleting knife, <laughs> but we'll make do. I do have another knife. I've got new, two new knives on the way, which should make uh, my life a little easier. One diving knife and one uh, just all purpose folding knife. Because I've had quite a few people ask me what this knife is. This is really just a cheapy, a cheapy folding knife but it does the job it actually surprisingly good but as you can see it's, they rust real quick even with you know taking care of them as best as i can they still rust pretty quick so what i uh tend to do is just buy a few of these cheapies but i've decided i'm going to bite the bullet and get a nice knife so i've got uh, two nice ones on the way and they are rust proof believe it or not so that'll be a new for me rust proof knives and hopefully like everything i've read and seen means they do live up to their promise as well so it'll be interesting to see how uh, rust proof they are but apparently they're very nice i'll let you know when they get here <laughs> but in the meantime we're just using this old one yeah rust proof knife is a dream really isn't it because i do go through knives it's the only thing that makes them sort of die is just that salt water not a bad outlook to be cooking brunch and then we'll pack up I think and head off because uh, yeah look I've got a nice window of good weather now but uh, <laughs> could turn any second hopefully we make it before we finish our meal uh, I can go on the fire put the garlic down is going to be delicious. It doesn't have to be too fine here. Beautiful. Just that and a whole heap of butter. Now, I know this is going to look a bit wrong, but I'm just going to chuck it straight in to the pan instead of getting the pan hot first because I'll get that crab ready in a sec. 
see. This is where that new knife's going to come in handy as well. <laughs> Scraping this uh, It's not as thin as a filleting knife. Okay, well, I think I might just maybe pop the edge on here and just start heating that pan slowly. I don't want it too toasty too quickly, but just enough to sort of get that butter melted. Guess it's time to check on that crab, huh? Alright, buddy. Let's see where you're at. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> he's got uh, a lot more limp. He's got no kicking. Oh, geez, he's nice and cold. Jeez, look, he feels well, semi full as well. Or I could say he's nice and chunky and meaty. Beautiful male crab. Big claws. But you can see how docile he is now. So he's chilled right out. Now, basically just need to dispatch him, which I might do down there, but it's as simple as just lifting this flap and then ripping back basically the whole thing. Oh, our butter's gone. Let's just, just melt that butter. Just take it off the heat a little bit. Just want that to melt down. But yes, so we're going to just quickly lift this flap, rip off the top, and we are good to go. Just take the top back off, and then we'll leave all the other bits in. Someone actually told me the other day that I'm chucking away all the good flavouring by uh, rinsing out all this inner stuff, and I, I tend to agree, so we'll just chuck them basically in just like that. And what we might do is just quickly crack the claws open, just a little bit more of the flavour through. And that is crab good to go. We can get rid of the lungs. We don't really need those. Apart from that, it's as simple as that. And we'll get him in and we'll cook it up. Okay, so we'll get this on some proper heat now. How good does that look already? So simple, but so good. Try and get the legs and everything into the uh, into the butter, where it's going to sizzle away and get nice and toasty. I might tilt this pan back a bit. And if we're really greedy, might actually just put some more butter in. No point in being sparing now. Because we want lots of dipping sauce. Probably preferably without that label in it though. Let me get that out. I don't know about you, but that looks so damn appetizing to me. It's ridiculous. We just salt on everything. And a little bit of pepper. And that is that. Now we just get to enjoy it once it's cooked. Alright. That's pretty much done. This leg could be cooked a little bit more on that edge there, but that's fine. You don't want to overcook it. As with all seafood, you don't want to overcook it. That core is done for sure. Oh mate, that looks really good. I'm happy with that. Let's get it off and eat. Far out, that looks so good. Oh, that pan's hot. Maybe we'll just sit right up here. Fire's all but done. Oh. Okay. Just sit up here and eat it while it's still sizzling. Doesn't get much better than that. Can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> Smells good. Look at that, that bit of meat is going down in a second. <laughs> but very, very nice catch and cook. So simple. It's actually quite a lot of food on here, surprisingly enough. It should be fine. 
I was a bit worried that it wouldn't be enough, but he had two big claws, so we're looking good. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat this. We're gonna chill, and then I think we're gonna take off home because uh, the weather, although it's cleared up now, thank God it's opened up just for a little while, but I think it's gonna get worse, so we'll cruise home. So next camping vid will be a bigger one. I'll go up to the islands, but I'm just waiting for that weather to clear up. It was a bit blown out, so I sort of uh, went here instead because it was just looking a bit too dicey up further. But I better eat this before the butter gets cold. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Anyway, catch you on the next vid. Not a bad outlook at all. Look at that. Oh. Let's crack it. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. That is so delicious. Let's get some of that butter and chili in there. That's pretty special. Oh my God, look at that.